Hello everybody and welcome to my SketchUp videos. Today I had been sent a request from somebody to do a handrail tutorial on staircase, so um, he didn't specify on which kind of staircase, so I assume we can be safe to say with a straight staircase. So I chose a simple staircase. Uh, basically, you know, a uh, 7 by 11 st standard riser and tread. And um, I decided to connect a space 10 feet um, from floor to floor. So we will do a basic handrail. So first off, before you get, when you do your stairs and all, make sure a few things. That by standard, you see from edge of stair to the wall would be at least, at very least, three feet. If it was a bigger building, bigger house or whatever, you'd want to do a little more, just, you know. And, but don't make it too much because you'll be wasting space. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a handrail for this. Um, we're assuming we're going to keep this at three feet wide. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click on one of the walls of the stairs. Make a copy of it. Move it. This also depends on how much space you have to work. So um, here I have a whole infinite space to work because I have no other walls but in a house will be different. So I'll just make this a group just so I don't have to bother with things and edit my group. Now what I usually do, I look for the anchor bolsters. So one will be at the foot of the step, one will be at the very top of the steps, and one will be like at the end of the um, balcony or whatever we have. And, I mean, if the balcony is longer, you know, obviously I'll put more anchors in. So we're going to start with the first one. I usually have my bolsters, my anchor bolsters, at 4x4. Four four. So what I do is, in the middle, in the middle, I'll go out 2 inches. Oh, in terms of inches, I use inches and feet. If you're in another country, you'll be using centimeters and meters. So, um, just keep that in mind. Um, alright, so then I'll just go up to the top of the stair. No, I'll just pick a space and I can cut it off and go four inches here. As you can see, um, reason being is, um, because you see these stairs here, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make one of those runners. So I go up a few inches in this case four inches. I'm doing it the standardly way that I do it. And at the end here. Four inches. Connect it like that. Then you see where this where this diagonal meets the straight. I go up one inch just from that then I cut off the rest of it. Then I'll go ahead and just cut off like... Because this is this here is only used as a template. Um, this thing that I copied is actually going to go away. And now as you see here from um, this bottom um, anchor bolster the top one is going to be very similar. You see it's going to be in the middle here. So two inches from the end of this stair here. And two inches that away. And then you see from the, this is the floor up here. So I rise actually five inches above the floor. from here. I only do it halfway. Five inches. And I'll make it three inches down this way. And 
and then from here I'm going to erase these stairs here, the, this template. So goodbye to that, and actually goodbye to this. So now we have our anchors. As you can see, just take the center here and put it in center here. Easy. And from there we're going to edit the group. Now these are going to be stained bolsters, right? Um, the stairs are stained, so might as well. Just color it however you want and then extrude it out. And it's a 4x4, four four, so I'm going to extrude it 4 inches. Same story goes for here. Well, and here. Got a double click there and a double click there. Just trying to. And then I'm going to make this a little longer. I'm going to trim that later, but I do that just for now. And now we can explode our group and go in and erase what's not needed. And then you notice my diagonals. I'm going to make them three inches out. So I'm going to notice how this whole thing is four. So I'm going to go half an inch this way. So you get half an inch. And then from the end here, make it go four inches. Like I did in my template. I mean, if you want to do like six inches or whatever inches, I mean, go for it. I'm just using mine. Then, um, go out three inches. Never mind me, I'm just doing my thing. Why does my computer not want to cooperate with me this morning? No open for a new one, but you know I don't have it. I don't have the funds for it. So I gotta make do with what I got. And with what I got is kind of old, outdated, blah blah blah, blah 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 blah. No, this is a tutorial video, not a computer rant video. Oh well. Okay, so I got that. Then let's, we're going to assume we're going to color all this in stain. Darn it. For now. Uh, we'll raise this four inches. Raise what we don't want. Always make sure to look out for what you want and don't want. Then you want to go down, draw down four inches. Then draw down two inches. See, that's why I made it like, like so there. Um, and then what I usually like to do for this one, I usually like to go out eight inches for here. If you're wondering how I'm do why I'm doing it this way most of the time is because um, I used to live in a house where these were the measurements on the stairs. Um, 
So I just go with that. Then I bring this all the way up to that point. Then I go out half an inch. There. See, that is three inches, right? So I take this and then go in one inch. No, no, 0 0.5, half an inch. Because I usually have my trim half an inch. I'm going to color that whatever the wall color is. Now for the fun part. You did the boring. We did the boring part. Fun part. A go to the move tool, right click on one of these, control button, and I'll go up uh, two foot five inches. And I'll tell you that and just why in just a second. So I'll go here and do this one. Two foot five. Same for the one here. Copy two foot five. Reason being is for the banister up here, by standard, it's got to be the minimum of three feet high. And the reason why I'm making it this high is because already in count of this, in account of this, how high this is, and how account of the thickness of the banister. So I'll go up, take my extrude tool and we'll extrude this three inches and do that for all of them so basically they're just blocks floating in space don't worry you'll have this you'll have this done in no time and we will make these three inch thick so I use my offset tool and then just go in um, half an inch why? Because these were 4 by 4s And then I uh, like to make the same up here, so go back and do that there. And for this, this will go into the wall. Like so. And then just, just extrude them upward. And then for here, I just go one inch. Then we will make the actual banisters. So we'll make them two by two. Could be a little more, but... Um, This is the world of SketchUp. So what you're seeing here is um, one banister. Now we're going to do the diagonal banister. So I'll just make it in the middle here. Take this. Why isn't it... Why doesn't this select? There we go. Okay, sometimes when you click on something, it won't select. Um, so I made a copy there. It won't select. So sometimes you might have to erase the line, but undo what you just did, and then it will do that. So um, we'll make this here. Um, we will bring this in half an inch this way and half an inch that way extrude it up one inch, extrude it down one inch, bring it select faces with model, push this in, erase, And let's do the same here. Set faces with model. Now sometimes it's going to give you trouble, and there's not much you can do in that in that regard. Then again, erase what you don't want to keep the file size small, and it also looks clean. So now you got the banisters. 
Now, I usually take the lazy way out and do it this way where um, I just use this rectangle tool Sometimes I actually draw the balsters, but I'm going to just do this. Um, go to the fencing tool. This is my favorite one. I color it in. See, like I said, I'm lazy, right? Let's go to edit, darken it. You see this little chain button? I'm going to want to do something about that change it to a height that doesn't show the um, grate the horizontal grate just the verticals then I'll just go get the pencil tool and then you see where all the little blue dots in the middle make sure it's all in the center so it's one plane Yep, I'm very lazy. Some people will go in and do the ballsters. Yeah, that's not my style. I'm lazy. And then I'll do this. Got this? No problem. Simply draw a line above it. Right click hide, then click click on the eyedropper tool, click on this, click the little box create material, make a new material, and then use your new material and click on both sides. You have to click on both sides. And then as you can see go to edit, use the little paper clip tool, break it in two, and just uh, resize it. And then there you go. See? And no one will know the difference. So yeah. That is the stairs. And then you notice also like follows the code by going like you see three feet three feet high and then it gives you allows you a three foot clearance space between anchor bolster so yeah all right everybody i hope you enjoyed it if you did please rate comment subscribe i'd really appreciate it another thing is i always appreciate feedback so if you have any suggestions for me I'd be happy to accommodate them and um like i'm relatively new here so still so I'm still kind of learning the ropes. So I welcome feedback and um, suggestions, requests, anything you have for me. Alrighty then. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Alright, bye-bye everybody.